What's up, Novi? And welcome back to Cultureverse. This is episode nine. This will possibly be uh, the second to last episode. We're going to go through 10 episodes and then Matia will be leaving and then I'll decide if I want to keep going for this year or wait and keep going next year. We have a few topics. Oh, wait, Matia, say what's up. My uh, bad. Oh, uh, hello there. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have a few <coughs> topics to talk about. Nothing too crazy. I think we should just get right into it. So our yeah. first topic will be PlayStation. They have a, supposedly, there's going to be a new showcase coming up. No specific date, I don't think. But we kind of just want to talk about what we would like to see in these showcases. Um, so I'll let you talk about that. Uh, well, obviously, like we were just talking about, I have multiple games I want to see. But I think we should take them one step at a time. So for the first game, it's got to be Spider-Man 2. 100%. I just want to see more footage. I want to see more Venom. We haven't seen any gameplay. Yeah, I'm crave. No, what's good? We've seen like image leaks. Image leaks. Yeah, yeah. but like not like gameplay. gameplay. Mm -hmm. I want to see more of Green Goblin, and I want to know the uh, the design for Craven. Yeah, yeah, because uh, I remember Craven was in the Amazing Spider-Man Two game. That was fun. I like that game. Yeah. Um, I know that we're gonna be able to pick like in certain situations who we want to play as. I know that they said every suit will have a symbiote suit, so they're all gonna be like unique in a certain way, which I'm interested in how they're gonna do that. Yeah. Um, I mean, a symbiote suit always goes hard. Oh yeah, always yeah. it goes insane. You can't like really do it right. It's just you know, like a black like like like. Uh, what's like a like a paste kind of yeah 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 much. like a black paste with like a little bit of white oozing mm -hmm. and like and I was like oh my god that's sweet it's always it always yeah. does it is always good. dope yeah um we don't know too much <laughs> about the story I am speculating that MJ will die and we get to meet Gwen at some point yeah because I, I just hope we don't get. Those. No more MJ, man. I was just about to no say, more no MJ. more MJ. I really want to do Gwen, man. I just, I, I only want, I just want to do Spider-Man, man. I know. It's just That's those it. missions were just not fun. And yeah. I think that there, there's going to be, like, new things you can do when you're swinging, new combat moves, new yeah. gadgets, hopefully. And, like, the first game was already fun for both Miles Morales. I really did yeah. like the... Uh, for me, Miles Morales, I like the combat more. Yeah, but the gameplay was gameplay, better, but yeah. like if we're talking story wise, it was Spider Man. Yeah, so. easily Spider Man because now you got the Sinister Six. Oh yeah, or like their version of the oh, Sinister yeah. Six. And since we're finally having them together, we haven't really seen that in anything, and like, yeah. I'm really excited because that's really cool. I, I love Spider Man. And we're gonna get to see as in like one of the screenshots, uh, the I Inspire thing. You know, what I'm talking like when like the four. Like, oh the yeah, yeah, but like the arms are coming out. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I want to see that again because. They had that in the first one, but it just was kind of. It was kind of glitchy, like not like yeah. they just looked. It looked rough when you were kind of bad. It. Yeah, you know. And I think I forgot which uh, ability I would always use. I think mine was like. I don't even remember. I, I had the quick shot gloves. My yeah. was just shot gloves. I think yeah. if I'm not wrong, I did run the Iron Spider one for a bit because I had the Iron Spider suit on. Yeah. Like the old one, the red and black one, not the one from the MCU, but. I ran that one, then I ran the shot gloves, and then I ran something else. I don't remember what it was, but those were the, what I remember. Do you remember what suit you rocked with a lot? Uh, Yeah, it was the one you got with at the very end of the game, the black and yellow one, when you go against Dr. Octopus. Mm. I like that one. That one was sweet, but during, uh, mid, like during the game, it would either be uh, the homecoming suit mm -hmm. or... I think Toby Maguire's suit. Yeah, I ran Toby's for a bit, and then I grinded for Scarlet Spider a little yeah. bit because I like. I gotta, say, I gotta search up the suits real quick. Yeah, because I, yeah, I think cause I'm drawing. Cause I haven't touched that game like in a year or something mm -hmm. like that. I had always, I what I what I really liked about the Miles Morales game was like you could use the what's it called, the Venom Blast. And that's what made the game, like, which I liked it a lot. I, but I ran the Scarlet Spider suit, the... You used, like, the MCU's, like, Iron Spider suit. You know, like, I did that one for Infinity a bit. The Infinity War one. Mm -hmm. I, liked the, I, liked, I just like the way that, like, that one looked. Yeah, I did that one for a bit as well. And then I did the Future Foundation. I've always loved Future Foundation yeah. suit. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, uh, I remember I rocked that one for a little bit on my second playthrough. Yeah? Yeah. Getting 100% on that game was... I never got 100% on the Spider-Man game. I did on the Batman game, though, but... Man, 
Oh man, I love Batman. Yeah, but we're not gonna get into that. Like, no, 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 yeah, I'm just saying that like the only superhero game I ever got 100 percent in is literally just Batman. Yeah, and the game Spider-Man Two should be good. It should be really good. Yeah, it should be improvements. I this suit I'm too. Excited. This is what I was looking for. Oh yeah, that was yeah, the was alternate called. 2099. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I like that one. That one is. I did run that one for a bit actually. Yeah, yeah that one was tough. But you know, I'm, I'm after a while, I just looked too like. Armory, like it yeah. felt like it felt like I was playing as Red Hood. That's what I'm that saying. Like sense. it didn't yeah. feel like Spider Man, yeah. so I didn't really run the like armor one. Yeah, before. yeah. But like I know I did for a little bit. I was like, oh my god, this is so sweet. You know, like, you yeah. got people shooting at me, but I'm still taking the hits. I'm like, cool, I'm, like armored Batman. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, armored Spider Man. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. But I mean, this, I mean, that's really how I feel about that. Yeah. I, I just, I, I'm excited. Yeah. I just want to see. I just want to see some Venom. I'm yeah. not gonna lie. Mm -hmm. That's just one of my favorite villains ever in the MCU, or just in Marvel in general. Him and Green Goblin, two big menaces. And, yeah. You know, I I just can't wait to see him. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I, a game, a game that I am more excited for, that I hope they show is. Surprisingly enough, well, I, okay, so I, I want to see the Wolverine game, but I also would like to see the new Resident, uh, not Resident, uh, Final Fantasy 17. Yeah, game. I never, I can never play those games. I don't know why. I just like, I think I tried with 15 when that one came out. I actually liked 14. 15. I, I didn't buy it. I forgot like what I did. I forgot how I played it. Demo? No, it wasn't. Actually, I remember it was the full game. Oh. I think I game shared it off my cousin because my oh, cousin, yeah. Stefan, he's big into it so i would game share because i game share like that and go and the ghost of uh Tsushima. yeah yeah mm -hmm. i've game shared that off him i play a lot i love ghost of Tsushima. that one was sweet yeah that game was fun. yeah but final fantasy he's like yeah he's like, you should play it's like you'll like it i'm like okay and i'm like i play it for like 10 minutes let's go i think yeah. that before because final fantasy 15 was definitely a newer take on the franchise because it was my it was literally my introduction to the yeah franchise. same it was yeah. same for me but like before those it was like mmo kind of like turn-based yeah type things you know what i'm saying so with this it's going to be the same format as 15 and i did like 15 i liked the light liked what it had uh, but it's just like it looks so much smoother so much smoother and the thing is like the magic looks nice, the combat looks nice, the graphics look nice. I really am, and like, I'm not the biggest Final Fantasy fan, but 15 I did like, but this one it, it looks great. Yeah, I, I really do want to see more. Yeah, I I can't really give my opinion on it because you know obviously if I've only played like 20 minutes of the game, I can't judge it off the 20 minutes I've played. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I don't got much to say about that. That's fine. But hey, if you're happy, I'm happy. Of man. course, of course. <laughs> what uh, what else are you excited for? Um. I think we should, uh, let's save Wolverine to last, because okay. I, I do got a lot of thoughts on that one. Uh, uh, the next one I'm looking forward to is The Last of Us uh, Part 2's Factions. Yeah, what, multiplayer. what is that? Oh, that's it's, it's literally just multiplayer, just Last of Us style. And, because uh, obviously with Last of Us, with the game, this the gore, dismemberment, the way the game just functions with, like, you know, like, shooting people and mm -hmm. how... Ammo is a very limited source. How you have to mainly rely on actual skill. Yeah, it's not like you're playing Call of Duty where like you can just run and gun real yeah, quick. Yeah. You run out you ammo. Like, you got your scavenger per gun. Mm -hmm. Like you can't just do that. Like if you're lucky, you'll get a full clip, yeah. and you gotta make that last for the whole game. The combat, the combat system, yeah, is, nice. is, combat is insane. Good. Especially when you're when you're fighting with like a like, yeah. hand to hand weapon, how you're dodging, yep. taking hits, and then like just like the way everything's executed in that game with fighting, mm -hmm. they make it look great. realistic. Yeah, so I I can't wait. That's gonna be a fun game to play. I think that's gonna come out sometime. Late 2023, they said maybe okay. mid 2024. Right. So we do got some time before that game, but still looking forward to it. Okay, okay, that's good. Yeah, I, I would. I'm open to trying that. Yeah. Know? Um, I want to say that I'm also excited for. Oh wait, did I say Final Fantasy? 16? I mean Final. No, yeah, yeah, 17. Anyway, I'm excited for the new Assassin's Creed game. Right. Um, I think they said that this wasn't gonna be more so classic uh, like stick into the classic uh, classic games a little bit yeah which to be honest i had no problem with how the new one was like like yeah. Valhalla, odyssey origins i didn't mind that combat system yeah i liked i liked origins and the uh, odyssey which i didn't get a chance to play valhalla but i heard it was sweet valhalla was nice playing yeah. the viking 
Oh man. You yeah, know that's uh, I, sh- I should play. It's funny because on my TikTok uh, page, I've been seeing so much things on Assassin's Creed Unity mm-hmm. Three and Black Flag. Mm-hmm. I remember playing Black Flag, uh, and that one was just fun. I never played for the story aspect. I always just played for like the loot and traveling the seas as a pirate. I never really liked Black Flag. I don't, dude. A lot of people don't. Really? You think? No, I, I think it's the opposite. I, every no, time dude, I hear every, it, they say it's every the best. Per- I, I mean, maybe not online. People love it online. But every person I know who has played an Assassin's Creed game, they don't. My brother didn't like Black Flag. My cousins didn't like Black Flag. Even friends I know who played it, they didn't like Black Flag. I don't know why. I can tell you why. I can tell you exactly why. It's the ship missions. The uh, Like when you're in the ships, the ship missions are not fun. I don't have fun doing the ship missions. Dude. I don't. Those, that was like my lead. And there were so many of them I didn't want to play anymore. And I was just so tired of it. Every time I talk to somebody, I know some people that think Black Flag is the best one. I've heard some people that think it's the best one. But the thing is about Black Flag. I can't go against three, though. Three, three was you think so? Yeah. No, no, no. Actually, no. I, I like Unity. Unity was not talked about. Unity was. I, don't, I like the whole like French Revolution thing. Yeah. I, I don't know why. I just I just loved it so much. Yeah. And especially, you know, going around the, the buildings of Paris yeah. and France. The parkour was nuts. Parkour was nuts. You could always, you know, evade people if you have to mm-hmm. always fun doing stealth kills in there too because you know like once you get somebody they ain't fine you bro you're assassinated yeah that's what i'm saying and yeah. then like the multiplayer aspect was fun it's just yeah. it, it i just never wasn't tried I, I, I only played like a little bit of the multiplayer my brother was really big into it so i'd watch him play it but it uh cool. yeah I, it, it, it looked cool me and the boys playing do a countdown and when we got to take these guys like hey all right we're gonna do this together Three. Yeah, three, two, two one, and then we. Wait, are you talking about like the multiplayer where like you do where you co-op and join yep. up into? Oh, okay, yep. yeah, yeah. I that played that fun. one with a friend. Yeah. I was talking about like where you go against. Uh, oh, was yeah. that only Black Flag though? I have I forgot which one it was. I think maybe it was Black Flag. Um, I just remember my brother playing it, and uh, he was always getting it because he sucked at it. But <laughs> I just. <clears throat> I I just want to see what this one's about because I know that they're gonna be bringing this character in the new one will be. A past character from previous games. I don't remember which one, though. But so it could be Connor, uh, Enzo. Mm-hmm. No, no, no. It's a side, He was a side character. Oh. But okay. he was an assassin. He was part of the syndicate. Okay. Uh, I think he was in Odyssey, Origin. I don't know. Regardless, I forgot. Oh, he's from one of the more newer ones. I want to say so. I think so. Yeah. But I could be wrong. But, but yeah, I'm, I, I am excited for that. You want to... Yeah, no, there was uh, this one Assassin's Creed game. I forgot what I remember the cover of the game. It was like, you know, like, like two assassins on each side, one in the middle, and he was holding like a cane. Syndicate. Syndicate, yeah. I I, yep. I was literally going to say, I've literally never heard anything about that game, even though I've known it. for a little bit, and I didn't like it. Yeah, I've never. What was so bad about that one? The con. Okay, so my issue with the game was the concept was really nice, like that type of like setting. Yeah, yeah. The gameplay was fun. The issue I had was like the combat was just too repetitive. You have to, you know, you're hitting them and then they start blocking and you have to break their block. It happens so much. And I'm just like, come on. Yeah. I'm like, oh my God, bro. Like, you're just a henchman. Like, yeah. Yeah. Not. But but there were fight clubs. The fight clubs were fun. Like you were just throwing hands. Oh, That's that. What's the first rule, dude? My bad, bro. What's wrong with you, man? Don't talk about Fight Club. <laughs> but yeah, no, those are kind of just our thoughts and hopes that anything else you want to say? Uh, no, but did you want to talk about Wolverine? Uh, yeah, yeah, of course we knew Wolverine. Uh, I know for a fact, for that one, we're going to get like a dismemberment, uh, like fighting style, which I mean, with Wolverine, you mm-hmm. kind of have to. Yeah, you to. have to. Yeah. I hope the story is like one of the best stories I've ever seen. I have so, like, I want like... Some Red Dead Redemption two like type story for that like mm-hmm. not like not like, like exactly ripped from Red Dead like, like you just know how like Red Dead yeah. was just such a fun great story yeah it was really I fun. want something like that for Wolverine like how like like Logan was how mm-hmm. Logan was such a great superhero movie yeah I kind of want something like that but for a game format because Wolverine is an extremely deep character with a lot of backstory that you could get into and I think properly executed this could be just such an amazing game. It's going to be amazing gameplay-wise. I mm. don't think there's much you can mess that up with. Mm-mm. But story-wise, you never know. I think that what I really hope for, like, <laughs> this is like real, <clears throat> this is just quality of life. But what I really hope is for transportation, he has his motorcycle. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I would love that. I hope for like scaling buildings, you know, you take out the closet. Yeah, start, yeah, like, yeah. Up. Yeah, that'd be sweet too. That'd be tough. Yeah. I, I, I think there's a lot of hope for this. We haven't heard too much. We've only seen the teaser trailer when it came out. Yeah, that when one he's day. just like in the bar and the Wolverine claws mm -hmm. come out. Mm -hmm. We got a little teaser in She Hulk. If you yeah, read the like, uh, newspaper, it was just like, man, with claws get yeah. to fight at bar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The, the thing is, though, about these showcases is that there have been, ever since the big showcase, there have been like five after that. They've all been very underwhelming. Yeah. Um, I'm hoping this one is actually well, not underwhelming yeah hope it's actually overwhelming you know yeah, one question i have about the wolverine game is how is the healing factor gonna, like how are you gonna die in the game like how are you gonna fail a mission yeah because like like oh like, you die like wolverine can't die bro like you know like well he gets like hit with a shotgun like point blank He's just I, I forgot what like, his mm. what the um the, the weaknesses there is a weakness and i'm sure with those type of games like deadpool they had a counter against it, you know, so that's what they're probably going to be using. Like some big organization has a counter to it, something like that. Yeah. That's what I'm assuming. That's typically how those type of things go. Yeah. I hope they take that route because it makes the most sense. Yeah. Uh, I have to look up at the weaknesses later, but, you know, that's just kind of what I think about Wolverine. Got any final thoughts on that one? No, uh, that's it. Yeah. All right. All right. So topic two. Topic two. All right. So topic two. There has been a new teaser for Mortal Kombat saying that the reveal might be soon. There's been speculation that is a it is a reboot. It is. I'm pretty sure it is because, Alan, did you play the Eleven story? Yeah, because he reset the timeline. Because Liu Kang becomes the Elder God after yep. he takes Raiden's place and he resets everything. And then the whole, like, aftermath story expansion mm -hmm. uh, comes in and, you know, it's everything is, like, in the mid process of getting reset, I forgot what the like admin, and then like Shao Kahn comes back, and you know like Sindel and stuff like that. Obviously, they have to stop him again. They stop him again, and they uh, reset the entire thing. So I heard it's going back more to Mortal Kombat One yep. story. Yep. So it seems like with Mortal Kombat Twelve, we're actually going to get a tournament. And what I'm hoping for is that is that we get to pick one character mm -hmm. and play the entire Mortal Kombat tournament as that one character. So you know, dumb. you pick like. Uh, Johnny Cage, for example, yeah. and you know he plays him, or he plays Reptile, he plays Sub Zero mm -hmm. or a Scorpion, you know something like that, and uh, the entire story can change. So say there's like 42 different <coughs> stories, mm -hmm. one for each character, whichever character you want to play as, and the whole story just revolves around that one character. Don't get me wrong, that would be a lot of work, but it would make for some great replay value. Because say one day you play as Cabal, like, okay, cool, now you got Cabal's story. Yep. Now I want to go play as Baraka or yeah. something like that. They do, they do those type of things with the, like, um... Yeah, but, like, but that's with, like, the towers. Yeah. Yeah. I'm talking, like, like a full-on story. They kind of, and... That would be hard. That would be very hard. And in Justice, they did something like that. Like, you know, like, when you finish a certain thing, I forgot, I think it was Multiverse or whatever, you finished it... And yeah, it telling like what the character like does after that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mortal Kombat yeah, did the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, so maybe they will do that. Um, that you, I know we talked about. They said they there should be Homelander in the game as a DLC. Yeah, <laughs> that's gonna be nuts. Especially if they can get Anthony Starr to voice it. That's cool. Because Anthony Starr loves playing Homelander, so mm -hmm. I think he would be totally down to, with Nether Realm and Warner Brothers to, yeah. you know, put, play Homelander, play his own character. In a game, mm -hmm. that'd be a cool fighting style because you no, know, it, it'd be like a Superman fight. So you got laser yeah. beams, super strength. You can fly, yeah. stuff like that. The interactions would be funny too. Yeah, they would. Yeah, they would. They would just be drop dead hilarious. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's one DLC character which we know is confirmed. Um, there have been talks about Peacemaker might be coming. Yeah, Peacemaker. I've and heard some things else. about Punisher. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, I think that was more unrealistic though. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they add Mike Myers because you know Mortal Kombat 10 how they did the whole like horror movie thing yeah. how they add like uh, they had the Xenomorph they had Freddy Jason Cougar, no Freddy was nine oh that was nine yeah um Jason was in there yeah you remember Kratos was in that game Mortal Kombat nine was it nine yeah that was wild they made a reference to that. Or no, they made a reference to the PlayStation Brawl game. Yeah, in, in God of War. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was like, He's like, oh, brother, I've heard you were in the one great big tournament. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was yeah. like, yeah, man. He's like, we don't talk about he that said, here. <laughs> <laughs> he did not want to bring that up. He's like, no, no, no. But, uh, yeah, there are some side characters I'm hoping for. I would love to see, uh, what's his name? I'd love to see, you know, Carnage. I think he could fit perfectly. Mm. 
in a mm. Mortal Kombat universe. Plus, that'd just be funny to play. Yeah, it'd just be fun to play as a symbiote. If if they're doing Homelander and Peacemaker is confirmed, then it'll be superheroes and supervillain theme. Yeah, because I don't. There wasn't really a theme in Eleven with the DLCs. It right. was just random. I think the most consistent theme we got was. 80s characters which was oh, yeah. more, uh, which okay. was Terminator Rambo, Rambo and uh, I'm drawing a blank I'm pretty sure that's it. it no 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 it was one more right Terminator it was all, all the DLC characters what you had Fujin uh, one chick with teeth Sindel I think no I'm pretty sure what well, we also got Joker and Spawn who are from the DC universe yeah, yeah, that's true. Or right, you said, yeah, okay. Uh, I'm trying to think. Who who could it be? It had to have been so- RoboCop. RoboCop, yep, yep, and RoboCop. Yeah, it was RoboCop. So, so those are like all like 80s movies right mm-hmm. there. So I guess the theme for the 11 was 80s movies, and then 10 was horror, yeah. and then 9 was like a mix of horror and I guess other video game characters mm-hmm. since Kratos was in there. Um... So yeah, hopefully the theme for superheroes and supervillains. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. I'd like to see that. You know, he plays Batman or Flash or something like that. Or Iron Man, Captain America. Other villains too would be, because that would be another fun. I guess for like a brute villain, I could see Bane. Yeah. You know, that that one would make sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But yeah, those are kind of my my hopes for Mortal Kombat 12. Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm kind of hoping that they do something with that. Something cool. Yeah. You know? I mean, Mortal Kombat's never been the bland game for me. Yeah. Uh, when, and, like, a new one comes out, I'm always hooked on it for a couple of months. Yeah, least, so. same. So, yeah. like, I'm I'm excited. Yeah. I, I, was, I was crazy in Mortal Kombat 11. Sub-Zero, man. Come on, now. I'd destroy you. No, you wouldn't. Man. Come dude. On. Dude. I was. Insane. I don't think you know how. Dude, I have, like, over, like, 2,000 matches played. Dude. I was insane, bro. I was insane. I was wild, dude. I'm just saying. You go out there and you ask anybody. I'll tear you apart, bro. I'm sorry. Dude. I'm sorry. We might have to sell this. Are you on, <laughs> are you on PlayStation? Or what? It's, it's cross It's crossplay. It's crossplay. You can get it done, bro. I'm just saying. Dude, we can throw hands in Mortal Kombat, man. I'm tear telling you, you, man. It might ruin our friendship, but... <laughs> hey, bro, I might tear you apart. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm just saying man. You're talking a lot of smack <laughs> <laughs> this is what more. This is what fighting games does. Like friendships and just any competitive thing, especially with guys. It's, yeah. yeah. Oh my god! I had a friend that I played Mortal Kombat with him. It was like his first time like ever playing a Mortal Kombat game. I did not hold back. No. <laughs> nope. I was I'm like, this is like, he he got better right away, man. He was determined to take me down. Still never did it though. But uh, that's okay. There's Mortal Kombat 12 for you. And yeah. I'm gonna beat Caden. <laughs> When it comes out, <laughs> you mark my words, man. When it comes out, bro, I'll practice. I'll Dude, practice. I will. I'll you. literally fail college just so I can <laughs> become the best in that <laughs> I don't care. We're going to see, bro. <laughs> You're going to see. This is what we think. Man, that's so what we think. topic three real quick or? Yeah, yeah, we can crack that. Yeah, we got All right, we so got topic it. three, we have Loki season two. It premieres on October 6th. We finally got a release date for it. Mm-hmm. Um, I generally don't think this is going to be bad. I don't Tom, think so. Either. Yeah, Tom Hiddleston in general is just a great actor. Mm-hmm. Other things I've seen him in, he he's good. He has a lot of range outside of Marvel, and I, I don't know if you could really screw up Loki after the first season. Yeah, because the first season, no one was really knowing what to expect from it. We knew the TVA, we knew variants and yeah. stuff like that, but what we got from it is definitely what we did not expect. Oh yeah. So I'm kind. of I have the same vibe for this one. I think we're kind of gonna get like a. I guess like a general feel for it at some point, mm-hmm. but when the show actually comes out, it's gonna throw us for a loop. Yeah, well, yeah, hundred percent. I think it's gonna be good though. I don't know, but like I, I couldn't really think what they're gonna do. But maybe more things with Kang because the way yeah. season one ended, he was yeah. back in the TVA, and Kang was the ruler. Mm-hmm. And then so. in, in Quantum Mania, the post credit scene, we can talk about this now since the movie's yeah. been out. Post credit scene was literally it shows Loki and uh, Owen Wilson. I think it was on Wisdom. They were standing together, and he was like, because they know about Kang now. Yeah. And he is there, like, in an audience, and the guy, and and, Kang, and one of the Kang variants shows their face, and he's like, oh, man, it's him. Yeah. And so they're going to be looking for Kangs. They're going to be, like, doing all this. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking it's going to be about. Plus, the plus Just hunting tomorrow. down different Kangs. Yep. I hope that he gets That'd be sweet. Silly, bro. That'd be, I, I like it, like, you know, say, like, they throw, like, you know, they 
get a bunch of kings back into their yep. timeline, and, yep. the and then the main king gets introduced. Exactly. And we see him just completely, hopefully not kill Loki for, like, the seventh time, but, like, yeah. I want to see him and Thor together again, bro. Yeah. Thor same. would be so heartbroken. Yeah. But that's I don't know, how many times did they, they kill him off, like, like three, four times, man? Four times, I think. I want to yeah. say four times. One, two, mm, three times. Yeah. Three times. So hopefully does not get killed for a fourth time. I don't want to see Owen Wilson's character. Oh, I've never been a big Owen Wilson guy. I love his character in that show. Yeah, I love his character in that show. The only thing I've ever like liked him in was, uh, I don't even know, maybe that one movie with Vince Vaughn. But I was loving it. He goes, wow. Uh, wow. <laughs> wow, that's wow. Wow. wow, it's so funny. Wow. It's, so, it's so funny. <laughs> yeah. I love it so much. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Ciao. It's just, it's just, you know, I, 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 I think Loki's definitely like top three for Marvel shows. Mar uh, dude, probably top one. Yeah, like I generally can't. Name another Marvel show that I like better than Loki. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Well, I, I think I feel like What If got a lot of hate too. They think lot, I don't understand. Yeah, it's a What If series. It's like What If, dude. Like, like, what do you want from it? You want it to be all canon? Like, yeah, that's no, what I'm dude. Like, like, give me some alternate storylines, dude. I, I know, and I and I love, and I love the alternate yeah. storylines. They're all good. I yeah, love What If concepts. Yeah, no, uh, I liked What If a lot, and they got too much hate. And I yeah. don't like that at all. I did too. I liked What If. Yeah, I don't know if are they even making a season two. Yeah, they are. They okay. told us what it was going to be about. I don't remember. They told us a while back. I only remember them announcing a season two, but too much hate, man. Too, too much, much hate for a great Marvel show. Mm -hmm. Other Marvel shows can't speak for. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I'm just wanted to talk about that a little bit. Yeah. Because we. Yeah. Anything? Any thoughts or? No, no. We got eight minutes left. We gotta put this in the folder. Yeah, but okay. um, I know this was a very short episode. Yeah. A little bit a little behind on schedule, but that's okay. Episode 10 will yeah. be worth it. Hopefully, we get some cameras on for the yeah. last episode. I, I was thinking for episode 10, we could, instead of you know, like, talking about like a lot of like, upcoming things, we could just talk about like our like favorite pieces of like fiction yeah, and like, culture, too, in general. Yeah. Obviously, we're going to throw in some whatever new stuff we see is coming out. Because yeah. I feel like every day, we always get like, a new announcement. Yeah. So there's definitely will be something to talk about. But uh, yeah, episode time we'll try to start right away on Monday. So yeah, we can get get it rolling. So we can, yeah, because I, you know, I wanna just, I wanna just, you know, get it rolling. You know, yeah. But I know the episode was a little short, but you know, we'll see if one last episode, maybe one last episode, but definitely one last episode with Matia in it. Yeah. We'll miss you, bro. I'm gonna miss you. I was just I, talking I to my friend about too, it, too, yeah. Because I was just like, it's just such a chill thing to do. We're second hour, so I, just I know. Sitting out there, we just get our points, phone. like yeah, and we get our points for doing something we love, dude. Yeah, that's what like, I know. It's just like an easy A, dude. Like I, I can know. literally, dude. But you know, that's that's our episode. Yeah. Episode nine. We'll we'll catch you later, Nova. Peace out.